Collingwood with a sponsor of Corey on Charmin. For those of you who can reach that job and see if he has a denying work on Creepy Tannage with a one of the Sunday. It is on Dover, Office on Charmin. I'm very much proud to pass the Riz Bandit Tool, the Ulani Sanya Ordinal. We welcome also the Honey Dog Song Youth and Party and Fan. Welcome to McCill Park in Bella Buffet for the intermediate county final between Terman and Bundoran. Both teams out in the field and the referee there, Liam Brown from the Four Masters Club in Donegal, shakes hands with Bosco Mohan and Tommy Ryan. Two captains, the Donegal Town Youth Band are entertaining us at this moment of time. And one day here in Bella Buffet, the one blowing from left to right down the field. The Bundoran team today in goals Emmett Golden, the full back line Joe Spratt, the full back Thomas Cassidy and the right full back Adrian Ruan. The half back line Brian Oak McNiff, Bosco Mohan and Emmett Barrett. The midfielders Parik Brogan and Martin O'Donnell. The half forward line Mark Travers, James Ruan and Daniel Leahy. And the full forward line, Colm Higgins, Shawnee McNiff and Seamus Riley. The Terman team in goals, Mickey Crossan. The full back line, Kevin McGettigan, Christy McCafferty and Brendan Gallagher. The half back line, Adrian Brady, John Doherty and Christy Ryan. Midfielders, John Joe McGettigan and Morris McBride. The half forward line, Audrey McBride, Tommy Ryan and Jared McBride. And the full forward line, Michael Kerr, James McLaughlin and number 15, PJ McFadden. A uh, strong breeze here at Ballybuffet this evening. Uh, very overcast sky and two games have already been played here on the pitch but it's still in good condition. Both these teams have had quite a number of tussles on and off the field. So let's hope the best team is going to win here today and we're looking forward to a good hard and sporting clean game of football. On their pass to the final, Van Dorn had to meet Lee Bolton twice, but eventually overcame them last Sunday here in Bella Buffet. And uh, Terman didn't have an easy passage either. He defeated Milford by not 11 to not 4. The Terman team posing for their photographs there in the front of the camera and in front of the video camera as well. Quite a number of familiar faces on the Terman team. Of course, Christy McCafferty, Tommy Ryan, Audie McBride are a couple of names that come to mind at this moment of time. And uh, Van Dorn are also boasting a number of familiar faces 
and Parik Brogan, defeat James Ruan and Seamus Riley. Man like this who played quite an amount of county football. <laughs> but Dorn will be looking to men like Parik Brogan to lift this game for them today, to give leadership to the younger players. Of course, Herman will be looking to the players of the calibre of Tommy Ryan, Christy McCaverty, to lead the way for them. Still a few minutes to go before the ball will be thrown in here. Not the best of light here at McCool Park today, but still enough for football. Right, so I Well, that was Aran Nagir, played by the Donegal Town Youth Band. Very splendidly adorned there in their blue uniforms. The Van Dorn subs coming onto the bench here, right in front of us. Brian McNiff. That is old Brian McNiff, I might add, out there in the centre of the field that the camera is on at the moment. The blue track suit. Familiar face in McCool Park here. The manager of the Senegal senior football team. Jimmy Granahan, I see down there on the line as well, who was a next Bundoran player and the next county footballer. The scene is all set here for the 1991 Intermediate Football Final between Terman and Bundoran. Bundoran were defeated here last year in the Intermediate Final by Glentis, Neve Connell from Glentis, by the slender margin of two points. They'll be hoping to go that bit further today and uh, take the trophy back to Bundoran this evening. Liam Brown from Four Masters Club in charge of this match today throws the ball in Harry Brogan got his hand to it there Martin O'Donnell been tackled by Morris McBride but Martin gets his shot in Dangle Leahy for Van Dorn and Dangle yes gone left and wide uh, good effort there by Van Doren, but it didn't quite come off The one is very, very strong here. It's not going to make for good football at all. Van Dorn playing with the wind. The kick out being taken. The kick out being taken by Mickey Crossan down here, who falls as he goes for it, but it's taken up by John Joe McGettigan, left footed. The far side of the field. Bosco Mohan, team captain, gets it to Parry Brogan. A good high shot from Parik Brogan, but again has gone right and wide. Two scorable chances there for Bandorn, but um, nothing came off them. And this door in the background is still banging. Mickey Crossan taking the kick out against the breeze. 
Parik Robin. Very well fielded by Parik Robin, who Liam Brown saw an infringement there. Morris McBride takes the kick. Bosco Mohan with the ball right in front of us here. Eamon Barrett storms his way through. A right footed shot. Shawnee McNiff, nephew of Brian McNiff here. And it's gone again right and wide. Mickey Crossan having a quite a busy time here keeping this ball kicked out. But against this breeze, that's to be expected. Number nine for Tarman, Morris McBride. Yes, did a bit of a nudge there in the back, but we got away with it. Number 14, James McLaughlin for Tarman. PJ McFadden. To Odie McBride. Odie McBride, left footed shot, but Joe Spratt comes out, and Joe Spratt gets at it right foot, but again, it's PJ McFadden. A dangerous moment for Ben Doran here. James McLaughlin has red goal there for Tarman by James McLaughlin. Ben Doran quite didn't get that ball cleared as as well as it have expected and they have paid the ultimate penalty here a goal there by PJ McFadden so it's after three minutes Terman one goal Bandoran no score a dangerous moment here for Terman as the 14 yes the ball came off the upright there from Shani McNiff a very dangerous moment Yes, they have got a point there from uh, the number 12, Daniel Leahy. Yes, Daniel Leahy, the scorer there, number 12 for Bundorn. Quite a let off for Terman there because the ball came off the upright from the boot of Shawnee McNiff. Christy McCafferty taking the kick out here. The bear to Christy. Christy McCaffrey with the kick out, out to the middle of the field, where it's broken by Morris McBride. He back to John Doherty. John is fouled. He takes the free quickly, puts inside uh, uh, number seven for Bundoran. Uh, Eamon Barrett. Eamon sends it down the field to Parik Robin. Parik left-footed long, but it goes out to the right and wide. I think you're listening there to the commentary of uh, Tom Comick, who is doing a commentary for Highland Radio here today. Mickey Crossan taking the kick out. Quite a number of kick outs from Mickey Crossan here. Out to this side of the field. Desperate Bandoran man trying to get to it. It's Mark Travers. Mark Travers with the ball trying to connect his way in. Left footed, right footed. And a good shot there for Mark Travers. Yes. And it looked to be in the net, but it's not. It's gone. Yes, it's still in play. Quite a let off for Terman there. And the referee says it's a free out. No doubt Bandoran will be relieved with that because uh, there was quite a tussling around the goal mouth there. And they are pleased to get away with the free out. A uh, couple of scoring chances missed here from Bandoran. Who play with a very strong breeze. They will need these chances in the second half when they face the breeze. Mickey Crossan into the wind. Morris McBride tried to get to it there. He puts it out over the line. Out here beside us. Martin O'Donnell. Didn't quite go where Martin intended. Shawnee McNiff tried to get his foot to it. And hits a free out. Liam Brown is very adamant that it's a free out. John Doherty, the number six for Terman, about to take it. His knee heavily bandaged. Parik Brogan attempting to get to it. Didn't quite get to it. Adrian Brady, number five there in possession. Bosco Mohan for Bandoran there. Gets it up. And Bosco has been fouled. And it's a free out. And referee Liam Brown says take it down 10 yards. Or 12 metres or whatever the case may be now. I think the ruling has changed and it's well held up by Christy McCafferty of Terman. Right, right footed. The number nine, Morris McBride there. Doing very well. 
Number 14, James McLaughlin. Dangerous man, James McLaughlin. I think that James got the goal, but it's a free in for Terramont. James McLaughlin was fouled in there by Thomas Cassidy, who seems to have his hands full at this stage. Number 11, Tommy Ryan, taking the free kick. This is a kick to the left of the player into a very strong breeze, so halfway between the Tommy Ryan placing the ball for the free right kick. Line. Quite a the cute angle, but the post, taking one last look at the post. The breeze here in the press box is blowing my notes everywhere. I have to manage on my own. Yes, Tommy is taking it a good shot, a good point for Terman. So it's Terman 1 1. Bundorn yet to score. Sorry, Bundoran has one point. I'm giving you that wrong. Bundoran, one point. Terman, one, one. Bit of a nudge there, but uh, the referee says play away. Christy Ryan. Christy Ryan in possession. James McLaughlin. Bundoran looking dangerous here. And as the ball comes in. And there's a fine score from Jerry McBride. Good point there from Jared. So it's Terman 1 2, Bundoran not 1. Terman doing, well, doing very well here against the breeze. Brian McNiff out on the pitch there, shouting instructions to his team. Brian is not altogether happy with what's going on here. Bundoran playing with the wind. We'll need to be doing a bit better here. Harry Brogan was fouled and the referee says it's a free down Jerry McBride attempted there to get away with the ball but Liam Brown is very adamant it's a free for Bundorn Harry Brogan to take it it's back to the camera here left footed a very high ball didn't gain a quite a lot of ground number 11 Tommy Ryan the free down for Bundoran here by Partick Brogan a free by Partick Brogan left footed number 5 there Aidan Brady got his foot to it number 12 for Bundoran is uh, Daniel Leakey out on the far side of the field Demond Barrett right footed James Ruan trying to get around Tommy Ryan but gets in his kick right footed yes well fielded by Kevin McGettigan Martin O'Donnell shots and it's a fine point for Pandora that's scored by Martin O'Donnell a very good point after nine and a half minutes play great point for Pandora after roughly nine minutes of play nine minutes thirty seconds to be precise very little between the sides here yet. Bundoran, two points. Terman, one, two. Kick out be taken by Christy McCafferty here. Right footed into a very strong breeze. Well fielded by Parik Brogan. Very well fielded by Parik Brogan, who is upended by two Terman players. And Parik is going to take this himself. And Liam Brown says, take it down. Something happened in there. And, uh, Bondoran gains the advantage. Parik takes it. A right footed shot, very high and very wide. Not very wide, but wide. And there are no marks for the margin of wideness here. It was an excellent kick, but uh, didn't quite go where it was intended. Mickey Crossan. Liam Brown says there's a bit of tugging going on there. Daniel Lee, he says it wasn't me, but uh, it's a free kick for Terman. Christy McCafferty, the man with the beard. Going to take it himself. 10, 11 minutes gone. A high ball, catching the breeze. Didn't get a lot of length into it. Again, it's Terman on the attack. Morris McBride. And it's a free down for Van Dorn. Martin O'Donnell. The number 15 there, Seamus Riley. Going for it for Van Dorn. Didn't quite get to it. Hardy Brogan. 
doing well here at midfield today for Bundoran. Christy McCafferty. And Christy McCafferty was fouled there, and it's a free into Terman. Free into Bundoran, sorry. Christy McCafferty did the fouling there, I think, on number 15, Seamus Riley. And it's a free into Bundoran. Parik Brogan. Has the ball in his hand. I don't know if he's going to take the free. Yes. Parik Brogan is going to take the free in front of the goals about 30 metres out Parik takes it left footed yes it's wide far end of the upright and wide the conditions here today are difficult for good football very strong breeze very much favouring Bundorn it might be Blowing across the pitch slightly, but uh, very much in Bundoran's favour all the same. Terman against the breeze, but very much in the driving seat. 1-2 to 2 points in favour of Terman. With 13 minutes gone. That's Mickey Crossan, the man taking the kick out again. Having quite a busy time kicking out here today, but doing fairly well with the kick outs against the breeze. Slight tussle going on out there Morris McBride and Morris Did kick goes four points. Did Matt Kenny Bank won four points the Bosco Mohan attempting to get through there a good right footed shot yes just left and wide Bosco will be disappointed with that shot because it was a good run and a good effort but uh, didn't quite get in as a shot as he would have liked to and uh, we've just heard that Killebegs have defeated and given by four points in the Ulster Club Championship I'm on the line all the time with him oh, yeah. John Joe McGettigan for Terman. Far side of the field and John Joe has been fouled and a bit of a, a pushing match going on over there on the far side of the field between John Joe and Bosco Mohan but nothing too serious. John Joe takes it himself. And it's a free down for Van Doren. Bosco Mohan takes it. And I don't know what happened there. I Liam Brown saw something going on and it's a free to Terraman. and it's going to be taken by John Doherty number six <laughs> Morris McBride been chased by Parik Brogan and uh, filed by Parik Brogan and is a free in to Terman Tommy Ryan Placing the ball on the 45 metre line. Or fairly close to the 45 metre line, I should say. 15 minutes gone in the game. At the end of the first quarter, 1 2 to 2 points. And Tommy Ryan about to take the free for tournament. And Tommy sends it. It's gone right, but it's still in play. Christy Ryan with the ball being bottled up there by Shani McNiff but he still gets in a shot Morris John Joe McGettigan James McLaughlin but James has been unceremoniously dispossessed by Parik Bogan and referee Liam Brown has given Terman the 10 metres or 10 yards advantage here quite decisive in his decisions here today and an intermediate final between Bundoran and Terman. I suppose one has to. Tommy Ryan, the man entrusted with the free taken here today. An acute angle, but the Bundoran people are not all that happy with uh, what Tommy is doing here. He's setting up the ball. Fairly strong breeze. The wind is blowing it. There's a 
very very strong breeze blowing down here and the notes are blowing all over the press box and, uh, one can picture what it's like out there in the field Tommy Ryan left footed yes it came off the goalkeeper there and Paddy Brogan clears it it was a good shot from Tommy Ryan very low shot and uh, the goalkeeper Mickey or Emmett Golden just got to it and saved it Aidan Brady to Tommy Ryan again to the centre of the field chased by Bosco Mohan and Bosco Mohan took that ball off him very well there and Bosco gets a free Patrick Brogan right footed Shani McNeve the ball rolls into space James Ruan to Shani McNiff dangerous moment here for Terman and the ball is in the back of the net yes a goal for Van Dorn from the bit of Shani McNiff a good goal from Shani 17 and a half minutes play and indeed the sides are again level 1-2 each Terman 1-2 Van Dorn 1-2 the light is fading fast here in Bally Buffet this evening quite a sizable crowd here Christy Ryan Christy McCafferty I'm sorry taking the kick out well fielded by Morris McBride to Tommy Ryan being pursued by Bosco Mohan Bosco follows his jersey and Bosco follows him and it's a free for Tommy Ryan and for Terman I think Tommy's not going to take this one himself he's going to leave it to Michael Kerr number 13 placing the ball there Hmm? Sorry, that's PJ McFadden there who took that and uh, very well done there PJ McFadden ah, good kick from PJ there I was calling him uh, Michael Kerr in the beginning but according to our programme is Michael Kerr but it's PJ McFadden actually <laughs> Emmett Golden taking the kick out It's fielded by a Bandoran man, but it's a Terman in possession now. And I think it's John Joe McGettigan who has been fouled out there, and it's free into Terman. Tommy Ryan to take it. 1 3 to 1 2. About 30 metres out, slightly to the right at the Bandoran goals. The angle is okay. Uh, Terman player receiving attention over there. Hello, yes, Charlie. Hello. Well, it's one, one, two, one, two, one, two, two points in your left way. Actually, we Tony McNeil. Tommy Ryan placing the ball for the free. Just there before you come over to me, PJ McFadden put Terman back in. Martin O'Donnell stands there in front of him. And if you just stay with me for a moment, Tommy Ryan is taking it. Tommy takes it left footed to Morris McBride and it's gone over the bar yes a good shot there sorry that's Audie McBride number 9 there who a good score there 1-4 for Terman 1-2 to Mundoran 20 minutes gone 10 minutes left in this half Emmett Golden, very heavily bandaged. And it's Terman who are dominating this game. Tommy Ryan has been fouled out there at midfield. James McLaughlin, the Terman full forward. And it's a free out to Pandoran. Quickly taken. Bosco Mohan, who gathers it. Well fielded by Brendan Geller, but lets it out of his hands to Shani McNiff. Very dangerous here for Terman. Shani McNiff takes it right footed. And Shani McNiff makes no mistake. 1 4 for Terman, 1 3 to Bandorn. And all these points are very badly needed by Bandorn because they're playing here with a strong advantage, breeze advantage here. 
And uh, unless this breeze settles, Van Dorn will have it all to do in the second half playing against it. Both teams have settled down fairly well considering. Christy McCafferty taking the kick out. John Doherty. Bosco Mohan. It's Morris McBride. Being watched there by Colm Higgins. And uh, Liam Brown says it's a free. The Bandorn supporters don't agree with that, but uh, Liam Brown is the referee. It's not what the man on the terrace is saying. But the man in the middle says. John Doherty. Something has happened there between Tommy Ryan and Bosco Mohan, and it's a free down to Bandorn. On the halfway line, Patrick Brogan, the man from Knockmore, is going to take it. Left footed. Well fielded in the chairman back line there by Kevin McGettigan. Out to, I think it's Morris McBride over there. Brendan Gallagher. It's actually Brendan Gallagher. Number 10 there, Oda McBride. Hardy Brogan is going to take this free. On the 45 meter line. Shot into the chairman goals and a dangerous moment here for Terman. The Bandoran number 13 there got his foot to it, Colin Higgins. The ball has been cleared. Well saved there by the chairman keeper, Mickey Crossan. And it's a high ball and it's gone right and wide. Another valuable miss there by Bandoran. 1 4 to 1 3. 24 minutes gone. Six minutes remaining in this half. The breeze is still with us and a very overcast sky here. Morris McBride he was fouled there as he was coming out and it's a free to Terman Liam Brown says take it back and that's what the Julie do right for a kick from Morris the red headed Morris Joe Spratt former Irua player and it's gone out over the end line in front of us here and it's a line ball for Terman taken by Tommy Ryan very nice strip here this Terman, maroon and white. Very well togged out here. Patrick Brogan back in his own defence. Catch as well. Tommy Ryan. James McLaughlin. Not gaining a lot of ground. I think that's Bosco Mohan over there, yes. The ground very slippy there. James Ruan, the County Donegal minor, taking the free himself. Colm Higgins went for that ball, didn't quite get to it. <laughs> Brendan Gallagher. James Ruan again. Uh, Martin O'Donnell there the last man to touch that ball and uh, it's coming to centre wide and indeed he won't be pleased with that effort at all Van Dorn missing many valuable scoring chances here that was the score we've just got the result of the Killebeg's done given match and it's Johnny McNiff on the ball a low shot from Johnny but it's well picked up by Mickey Cross and the tournament keeper out to Chrissy McCafferty Daniel Leahy and he's been fouled by Daniel Leahy and it's Christy who's taken the free himself a good kick into the wind Audie McBride 
Be Morris McBride. Christy Ryan. Christy Ryan on the far end of the field and this man falling everywhere. This is Morris McBride again. Tommy Ryan. Thomas Cassidy there was attempting to stop him, but Tommy got in his kick. Aidan Brady. And the linesman says it was over the line. And it's a Bundoran ball. Joe Spratt is going to take it. No, it's been Bosco Mohan is the man that's going to take it, the captain of the Bundoran team. Terman 1 4, Bundoran 1 3. And Terman playing against a very strong breeze. Johnny McNiff is in there, but it's Aidan Brady from Terman. Martin O'Donnell and Bosco Mohan is Bosco Mohan's right foot. Again, it's Terman on the attack. Mark Travers. And it's still Mark Travers. He tries to blast his way to it. Didn't quite come off. Colin Higgins. Hops and solos. Parik Brogan. Who takes it right. And again, it's wide. Another wide for Bundoran. Bundoran have quite an amount of possession here, but uh, not taking their chances at all. <laughs> Mickey Crossan taking the kick out. <laughs> James Rowan. And that's Brendan Gallagher. Right footed. To Odie McBride. The red headed Odie McBride. On the far end of the field, been chased by Ammon Barrett, but he gets in his kick. Bosco Mohan is in there. He's a determined player on the ground. And it's Tommy Ryan in the ball of the moment. There's a quick free there. It's Tommy Ryan. Tommy Ryan gets round Bosco Mohan, and I see the strip of his shorts he came a cropper there but uh, he the ball has gone wide <laughs> Emmett Golden taking the kick out for Bundoran one minute to go to half time looks as if we're going to have a drop of rain here Patrick Brogan Johnny McNiff and John Doherty went for that ball and neither of them got to it. And the ball out in front of us, Colin Higgins, has been fouled. He's on the ground. And it's a free in for Bundorn. Colin Higgins. Holding his back there, but uh, let's hope. No serious injury. Parik Brogan coming down to take the free. A point between the sides. Terman 1 4, Bundorn 1 3. And we're almost on the half time whistle. Eric Brogan will be hoping here to level matters up before half time. It's a good shot. It's left footed. It's curling and it's gone over the bar. And yes, it's a very good point from Parik Brogan. Van Doren will be well pleased with that. And Parik Brogan will be well pleased with it. But uh, the sides are level. One four each. Van Doren will be facing against a very strong breeze in the second half. Terman doing very well against it. And it's a fine point there from Parik Brogan. And in our stopwatch, the Yes, the referee has said it's half-time. And both, both teams will be delighted to get a, a well-deserved rest here. Quite an entertaining game of football. Both sides doing very well against uh, a wind and, and there's rain coming now, which is not going to help matters either. But a good intermediate final here. Both teams concentrating on the ball and giving their best. And the presentation will be made after the match. And Seamus has just informed us that this game has been sponsored by Jones's Oil, for which Tommy Ryan is a sales rep. There's also a fine trophy, a man of the match trophy here. 
I think that's a sponsored by Jones's Isle as well. Shani McNiff receiving attention out there in the centre of the field. Steve Van Dorn full forward, who um, scored that very vital goal for Van Dorn. of the intermediate football final when Doran 1-4 Terman 1-4 a bit of a drizzle coming here which is not going to help matters the Donegal Town Youth Band still in the field and indeed it's not a great evening for young girls in light dresses which is Johnny McNiff now seems to be playing at centre half forward and Seamus Riley at full forward James Ruan at left half forward both teams all ready for the off Liam Brown, Liam Brown is ensuring that everyone is in the position and he throws in the ball it's Roderick Brogan who succeeds in getting that ball up Seamus Riley comes out to meet it no sorry that's Colin Higgins back to Shawnee McNiff now playing the centre half forward and Shawnee McNiff has been fouled by Morris McBride Bosco Mohan right footed against a very strong breeze and it's a very good kick from Bosco Mohan but it's held by Mickey Croston in the Terman goals again it's blocked by Shawnee McNiff who attempts to get through James Rowan trying to get around there to Mark Travers but Mark Travers seems to be dispossessed and uh, touched the ball on the ground and it's a free out a free out for Terman and uh, we now have wind and rain here at McCool Park and the light is fading considerably as well I'm hoping that Haggy Keeney is picking all this up on his camera Christy McCafferty right footed Warwick Brogan Brian Ogmagniff number 5 over there it was Seamus Riley who attempted to get to that ball didn't quite get to it and it's free for Terman taken by Brendan Gallagher who it might have been calling Kevin McGettigan earlier on James McLaughlin to Tommy Ryan left footed and Tommy Ryan has made no mistake between the posts a good point for Terman and Terman are in the lead 1-5 to 1-4 one, 1 minute and 40 seconds gone Van Doren have all to do here against a very very strong breeze but the standard of football is quite high considering the October conditions Mehmet Golden attempting to get the ball out didn't get a lot of length into it this is James Ruan who is fouled James takes it right foot it to the Van Doren number 12 Daniel Leahy who in turn has been fouled Shawnee McNiff number 14 might have gained a few inches there at the expense of Terman takes the free right footed Daniel Leahy was there and it's a free out James Ruan is in there as well for Bundorn and free for Terman Barry Brogan attempting to get on his gloves got out for the ball here on the far side of the field on this side of the field he's been chased by Morris McBride Tommy Ryan both teams very anxious here that's Martin O'Donnell 
Martin O'Donnell to Shawnee McNiff back in his own defence Joe Spratt number two Bosco Mohan playing the captain's part here today and that's Mark Travers on the far side of the field a good young player for the future but it's Brendan Gallagher the tournament number two who cuts off that attack down to Tommy Ryan who in turn has been very well Tommy tries to settle the game down a bit Adrian Ruan Jerry McBride Michael Kerr and it's a tall Partick Brogan again who clears the ball out James Ruan two tournament men round him but James still has the ball and he's still in possession he's been harassed there by Morris McBride and James kicks the ball over the line it's a line ball for Terman. Kevin McGettigan. Right for it. PJ McFadden. PJ McFadden. Tommy Ryan. And Tommy Ryan again scores for Terman. And but Terman are now two points ahead. 1 6 to 1 4 after four and a half minutes play. Terman seem to be settling into this game the better side taking full advantage of the wind again it's Tommy Ryan and again it's Tommy Ryan who no it's gone wide I thought it was going heading for the point but it's gone wide it was a good try but uh, didn't quite come off One six to one four. Five and a half minutes. Gone in the second half. Partick Brogan fielding well at midfield for Bundorn and Partick Brogan has been fouled. The free will be taken by himself. Daniel Leahy. Bosco Mohan. Mark Travers and Mark Travers seemed to have been fouled there but referee Liam Brown says no and uh, I don't know what was happening there but it's John Doherty who gets the ball out to Tommy Ryan Colin Higgins sorry that number four was Adrian Iwan I called him Colin Higgins there P.J. McFadden for Terman and P.J. has been fouled and uh, it's a free in <laughs> Audie McBride the red headed Audie taking the free 6-7 minutes gone and Odie takes it and Odie makes no mistake it's gone over the bar very well taken there from Odie McBride three points between the sides 1-7 for Terman 1-4 for Bundorn and Bundorn desperate now to pull this game out of the fire and Bundorn have made a substitution here eh? Joe Murray has came on the Bandoran team and I think it's Brian Oak McNiff that has been replaced no sorry it's Martin O'Donnell Martin O'Donnell has been replaced at midfield and Joe Murray has came on the Bandoran team yes the referee spotted infringement there uh, Joe Murray was fouled and the referee says the free must be taken from where the ball lands it's entrusted to the Shiny McNiff and not a good day for keeping notes here in the press box so sure it's not a good day for keeping notes anywhere 
And I think there's a a name going into Liam Brown's notebook here. Yes, and it's the number two. It was Brendan Gallagher from Terman. Colin Higgins is holding his back there. Brendan Gallagher has been booked by referee Liam Brown. And I think this is the first booking in this game. It's been quite a clean, hard-fought game up to this. The umbrellas are out here in front of us. And that's a good kick from Shawnee McNiff. He was hoping to put it over the bar, but it didn't quite go. Dangalihi, right for the kick there, and it's a free in. And I think that is Seamus Riley, the number 15 there with the ball. The referee says, settle things down a bit. Parik Brogan is going to take the free. Yes, his kick has been saved. Parik went for his goal, but it didn't quite come off, and it's a free out to Terman. Christy McCafferty, it's Brendan Gallagher. I think he's going to take it, Christy. No, it's Brendan Gallagher, yes, with the ball. Three points between the sides. Well fielded by James Ruan, who has been fouled. The number five, Aidan Brady, goes over to see, is he OK? James Ruan takes the free himself. That's Kevin McGettigan. Uh, to Jerry McBride. Right footed. Horik Brogan was there, and Horik Brogan seemed to pull back a bit. The number 13 for Terman is PJ McFadden, and it's a good shot in. Yes, and a good score there from Michael Kerr. Another point for Terman, and another point for Michael Kerr to increase Terman's lead 1 8 to 1 4, with 10 minutes gone in the game. 20 minutes remaining. And Bundoran have an uphill task here. Yes, Odie McBride. John Doherty. It's uh, free to chairman. Aidan Brady. Not going to take it, but John Doherty is. John Doherty is left knee heavily bandaged. Again, it's Terman on the attack. Tommy Ryan. And Tommy Ryan made no mistake. And that's a very fine Tommy Ryan point. 1-9 for Terman. 1-4 for Bundoran. Again, Bainey McNiff is out and takes off his cap. Shouting to his team. Not at all pleased. And Brian, in an evening like this, I think you should be putting on your cap. Bosco Mohan, centre half back and captain of the Bandoran team. Mark Travers is fouled and referee. Yes, <laughs> Liam Brown is attempting to stop the play, but Mark Travers was insisting on going on. It's uh, Bandoran free, about 40 metres out on the far side of the field. Looking by Mark Travers himself. Mike Brogan was there but didn't quite get to it. Christy McCaverty attempting to get the ball out for Terman. Thinking Liam Brown is giving a free in on the spot there. Parik Brogan is going to take it. Twelve minutes gone. Eighteen minutes remaining. Five points between the sides. Yes, and that ball went wide another miss by Bundoran and the against a very strong breeze there Bundoran seem to be going for the goals here maybe it might be as well if they concentrated on their points because every point is going to count Terman look, look to be in the driving seat here but it's Bundoran who are driving at the moment with Parik Brogan who has been fouled a bit of acrobatics there from Parik. He takes the free himself, left footed. Yes, and Parik make no mistake that time. 
in the 13th minute a good point from Paddy Grogan and that's the first score from Bundoran in this half after 13 minutes a point from Paddy Grogan four points now separating the teams 1-9 to 1-5 for Terman 1-5 for Bundoran 1-9 for Terman the breeze still with us and the rain driving down there's a Bundoran player injured here in the middle of the field there's two men down actually from Bundoran I think it's Boss Gomohan who is down and James Ryan has got up again and there's Tommy Ryan who is in possession on the other side of the field and Tommy Ryan gets a fine point for Terman very accurate today that's Tommy Ryan making no mistakes at all sorry that was Joe Murray that was down there in the middle of the field but he's up and he's okay another point for Tommy Ryan and another point for Terman in the 14th minute Terman 110 Van Doren 15 5 points between them and the Terman number 8 John Joe McGettigan has been upended there and it's a Terman free and Shani McNiff is going into the little white book of Liam Brown well, John Joe McGettigan is up again and I'm glad to say he seems to be okay he's receiving a bit of assistance some water out of the little white bottle it looks John Joe McGettigan takes the free himself well cleared by Thomas Cassidy former Neve Breed player James Ruan but it's Christy Ryan on the far side of the field being tackled by Mike Travers Christy Ryan gets in his shot and the ball has gone out on the far side of the field it's a Terman ball Christy Ryan I think is going to take it looking good for Terman at this stage of the game a long high ball and again it's Terman and that was a good shot from PJ McFadden there PJ McFadden number 13 for Terman in the 16th minute to make it 111 when Doran 1-5 6 points separating the sides and uh, doesn't look as if this trophy is going to head south this evening unless when Doran do something and pull this game out of the fire that's exactly what Parik Brogan is attempting to do at this moment of time Gains a few yards there. Courtesy of Liam Brown. He spotted something. Colum Higgins. Sorry, that is Seamus Riley, number 15. And still Seamus Riley. Gets a free. Taking it himself. Colum Higgins. Seamus Riley. Taking the free kick. Seamus who is a guard the surgeon stationed in Bundoran takes it and it's blocked down by a Terman defender and the ball coming out here beside us Bosco Mohan attempting to get it up it's quite slippy at this moment and the pitch is slippy as well Bosco falls and Bosco gets a free Terman people don't agree with that but <laughs> takes it himself Seamus Riley was in there but Seamus Riley didn't quite get to it Joe Murray for Bundoran with the ball and Joe Murray has been fouled and I think Liam Brown is going to write the name of PJ McFadden into his book for the third booking here in the 18th minute of the game Terman playing very well and look on the team here to lift the laurels Parik Brogan is going to take this free whenever Liam Brown finishes with PJ McFadden but Liam Brown says take it back to where it happened 
Farnick was attempting to gain a few yards there. But Liam Brown is going to have none of it. Adorn with it all to do. Six points separating the teams. 1-11 for Terman, but Dorn 1-5, Boss Camuhan to Parik Brogan. James Ruan, the young 18-year-old county minor. He's playing now at, I think it's left half forward, started off at centre half forward. Free from Dorn, taken by Shani McNiff. Christy McCaverty didn't quite get to it, but another Terman man did. I can't exactly see who it is, but it's straight out to the hands of Shani McNiff. And still Shani McNiff who's uh, attempting to push his way towards the goal and James Ruan is out on the end line Shani McNiff and the ball has gone out and it's a white ball a bit of scrappy play to see the least out there on the end line but um, it's gone out for a line ball almost 20 minutes gone 10 minutes remaining Bundorn with a, an uphill struggle in this intermediate final. Defeated last year by two points. And they've got all to do here again. James Ruan. The referee gives a free to Bundorn. Parik Brogan was attempting to get through there and was fouled in the process. And I think it's Parik Brogan who is going to take the free now I think it's Shawnee McNiff now playing a centre half forward to reduce the deficit yes and that's what Shawnee McNiff does One eleven for Terman 1-6 for Open Dorn a little over 20 minutes gone 5 points now separating the teams The Dorn supporters here in front of us shouting at their side, hoping that they can still pull this game out of the fire. A number of people leaving over on the far side. As Christy McCafferty prepares to take the kick out for Terman. Terman playing with the breeze. Just very strong. And Parik Brogan upends the number 12 there for Terman who is Jerry McBride and Liam Brown has called the players to one side I think he's consulting with his linesman the number 12 for Terman Jerry McBride is receiving attention in the middle of the field and the referee is consulting with his linesman here and I think he is going to have a word with Padraig Brogan He's gone first to check if the injured player is okay. And let's hope he is. Quite a clean game. Nothing on Tyrod happening here at all. Both sides are concentrating on football. Eight minutes remaining. Bandorn five points behind. And uh, the Bandorn mentors here with anxious expressions on their faces. And Terman sensing victory at this stage. This hasn't, at up to this, been a great day for teams from the southern end of the county in the under 14B final. But Dor Irua or Neil Breed were defeated, and of course Irua were defeated in the under 14A final already here today. Referee Liam Brown throws in the ball and hits the number eight for Terman, who gets in a shot, and it's a good shot, and the ball is bouncing around the edge of the square there, but it's well pointed out by Emmett Golden, and it's a free out for Bandoran. Emmett Golden takes the free out to Joe Spratt. Tommy Ryan again playing extremely well here today and he takes a good left footed shot and he's been very very well Tommy a good shot 
And a good point, which puts the lead back to Terraman. Six points. Seven minutes remaining. Allowing for a stoppage. His boys were about eight and a half minutes. That's Shani McNiff. Gets a free. To Dengalihi. And uh, James Ruan there was holding on to somebody's jersey. And it's a free for Terman. Getting quite dark here at McCool Park. Christy Ryan. Thomas Cassidy didn't quite get to that. James McLaughlin was in there as well for Terman. And it's Jerry McBride, he was over there. Dangerous moment here for Bundoran. That's PJ McFadden and PJ McFadden stretches the Terman lead. Good point by PJ McFadden in the 24th minute. Terman 113, Bundoran 16. Bundoran now with her backs to the wall. Terman looking good for the 90, 90, 1991 Intermediate Championship. Woody McBride, County Minor. And that's a good left footed shot, but it from Jerry McBride, but it's gone left and wide. Terman can afford to waste these kind of chances at this stage of the game. And Doran missed a few valuable scores in the beginning, which would have kept them in the game. And against this breeze, if got an uphill task. Emmett Golden. I think that's James McLaughlin out there for Terman. It's a free for Bundorn. Given by Joseph Murray. Christy Ryan. And James Ruan gets a shot down. That is Michael Kerr. And Adrian Ruan. And uh, a bit of pushing got on there. And it's Bundorn in possession. Thomas Cassidy to Shirley McNiff back in his own defence well held there by Morris McBride a nice pass to Christy Ryan to Odie McBride and Odie has been slightly impeded there in his movement and it's a free to Bundoran and Odie McBride will be taking this himself no rush at all to take this free Tommy Ryan left footed and again it's a fine point from Tommy Ryan who has kicked some very nice points here today four minutes remaining Terman 114 Bundoran 1-6 eight points between the sides and Tommy Ryan has got seven of these points I've been informed by my good friend Tom Cormack three and a half minutes remaining Bosco Mohan has played very, very well here. And uh, again, it's Bundoran trying to open up an attack here. But Morris Mc or John Joe McGinnigan says no. Terman back in the attack. And the referee has given a free out. Free out for Bundoran. Emmett Gold in the taker. I don't exactly know what happened there, but Emma Golden takes it into the breeze. Shani McNiff punches it. Joe Murray. Dangalihi. Dangalihi has been fouled and it's a free to Bundorn. To Joe Murray. This is the Bundorn substitution. Been chased by Morris McBride. And the ball has been kicked over the line there by Kevin McGettigan. A line ball for Bundoran. Mark Travers, number 10. Who's going to take it? The far side of the field. Very hard to see the players over there. Yes, very well held there by Brendan Gallagher for Terman. Right footed. A long ball. Almost down to the Bundoran 30 metre line. And it's... Referee blows for a foul there. Thomas Murray and... 
James McLaughlin went for that ball and it's a free into Terman. Terman now very much in the driving seat and the Dorn team watching the intermediate championship slip from their grasp haven't quite played as well here today as they would have expected to play but this is a strong determined determined side free in for Terman a high ball it's gone right and wide but Terman people won't be too concerned a minute and a half left in the game 8 points between the sides 114 to 16 Well fielded, Parik Brogan. And Bosco Merton is running for the ball, but Liam Brown spotted something. And Liam Brown says it's a free kick. Pointing to the spot, Bosco Merton is going to take the free. Joe Murray. To Daniel Leahy. Daniel Leahy's pass didn't quite come off and Tommy Ryan cut it off there very nicely Tommy Ryan in possession seven points to his name here today and he'd be looking for his eighth a good right footed shot again it's Terman and they get a free in Michael Kerr the man on the ground there and the man with the ball and it's Odie McBride the red headed Odie McBride who's going to take this free and most of the people are leaving here on the far side of the pitch the, on the far side of the field the terraces are getting empty and that's a fine point a very nice point from PJ McFadden and in our stopwatch the time is up there's a pointing result or a disappointing evening for Bundoran here but fully deserved victory for Terman 115 to 1-6 nine points between the sides and Bundoran can have no qualms about this result Eamon Barrett and Eamon Barrett has been fouled quite a number of young players on this Bundoran team players to look out for in the future and it's Eamon Barrett with the ball they're taking the free himself but Terman again in command Brendan Gallagher a high ball down the field deflected by Thomas Cassidy and it's Thomas Cassidy and James McLaughlin running for it Joe Spratt is out there as well and the number 13 for tournament PJ McFadden but it's a line ball for Bundoran Daniel Leahy the far side of the field and it's still Daniel Leahy been bundled up slightly but uh, then we get a free I think it's Bosco Mohan that's taken it to Joe Murray trying to find a Bundoran man Brendan Gallagher who's done extremely well here Brendan Gallagher gets a free and I think he won't be in too much of a hurry taking this free Yeah, see a long ball Joe Spratt and the Bandoran defence Bosco Mohan there's a tussle here between Parik Brogan and Martin McBride and Parik Brogan gets a shot and it's a goal a fine goal there from Parik Brogan an excellent goal by Parik Brogan but I think Liam Brown had blown his whistle before it was taken Yes, it was a good goal, but um, I don't think... I think Liam Brown saw something there. Yes, he gave a free in. And Parik Pogan really take, takes the free and blasts it over the bar. And now stopwatch, the game is over. Two minutes of injury time gone. I, I'm not quite sure what is happening there. Yes, he's 
demanding that the free be retaken. Shawnee McNiff is going to take it this time. He was hoping to take it before the German defence got in there, but again it's gone over the bar. The point, a point for Bendorn, but it's too little, too late. One seven. Bundoran, Terman, 114. And there goes the final whistle. Three minutes of injury time played. And the delighted Terman supporters run onto the field here. They've just been crowned the 1991 Intermediate Football Champions. Still very blustery here in McCrill Park, but the Terman people won't mind that. Disappointed Bundoran side. Patrick Brogan coming off the field there, very disappointed. The cup will be presented to the captain of the Terman team by Charlie Faulkner, chairman of the Donegal County Board, who is out there at the moment, shaking hands with the Terman players, who won't mind the cold or the wind or the rain too much this evening. Quite a disappointing day for Southern teams. They, uh, they said earlier on the Van Dorn on their 14, B, or the Fleet on their 14 B team were defeated in the county final. The Arua on the 14 A team were defeated, and now the Van Dorn intermediate team has been defeated. So a disappointing day for teams from the southern end of the county. But Carndona, Ardara, and Terman. This has been their day. Candana won the under-14 B title, Ardura won the 14A, and of course now Terman have won the intermediate title. The Bendoran players are sitting on the ground there, and some of them standing disappointed with their performance, but it must be said that on today, a well-deserved victory for Terman. Uh, I'll tell you who far behind him, your man number two, corner back, Bernard Gallagher. Okay, big lad, no, really. Yeah.